Hello everyone and welcome back to another repair video on the channel. My name is Antoine and in today's video we have an iPhone X came on stuck on up logo. Now the history of this phone was uh, interesting. Also came uh, stuck on up logo after a drop and I did reball the two ports uh, and it got working but now it came again. But this time came with Panix in analytics. Uh, now, what is Panix and um, analytics? Uh, now, this one, I guess, introduced in iOS 10. But now it's very uh, popular to know and check if uh, if you have a hardware issue. And uh, now when the phone restarts uh, or stuck on Apple logo, the system feels that there is a problem or a hardware failure. Uh, so it's automatically make a crash log or panic log in analytics. So you can read uh, read it and discover where is the problem. But for now, our phone is just stuck on Apple logo. But before I got to see, uh, but before that, before got, uh, the phone got uh, stuck on Apple logo, I got to see the panic, which uh, had, um, I guess, I2C2 panic, something like that. And of course, now we're going to try to turn on the phone <laughs> so you can uh, check the panic because the panic will lead us to the problem. And now, uh, first thing is obviously the uh, classic, remove the <laughs> upper flex cable. And I guess uh, the phone will also stuck on Apple logo because I already, uh, in the first time I already did remove the, uh, the flex cable. Again, the Apple logo and then the phone restarts automatically. Let's go now and connect the phone to, uh, but first let's just remove all the flexes and just connect the battery. That's also a thing to do to make sure that the phone is um, booting with no problems because it could be that there is a short uh, in any flex, but again, we are waiting for the phone to boot up, but I guess that the phone will also be restarting. Yes, as you can see, and now we're going to connect the phone to our uh, power supply. Okay, here we go. Connecting and now turning on, pressing on the power button. And again, the phone boots up but it cannot boot up to the NAND. And as you can see, uh, half an amp and it drops to zero. Immediately, yes, drops to zero. So I guess now we're going to uh, remove the board and try only with battery and screen and see uh, the results. So here we are, we're going to now test the board only using the battery and the screen and sensor. Uh, it could be that any of the flex cable are shorted to maybe a I2C2 lines. And of course the uh, power button, because I'm not, I'm not going to connect the uh, charging flex cable. And now we're going to see, is it going to be a normal boot or we have to go and separate the boards again. Yep, uh, I guess we are now going to go and separate the boards and we are going to go under the microscope. Let's go. So this is how the board looks like under the microscope. This is my previous work. Everything looks fine to me. And now we're going, I guess, to separate the boards and see what is happening inside. So we separated the boards and we've cleaned the pads. And of course, I showed the cleaning process and the separate process in my previous videos. So for this one, I'm going to skip it and speed forward a little bit and see if our phone will boot up and uh, so we can check uh, our panics. So the phone booted up and now let's go to settings, privacy and then analytics and improvements and check our panic. Now, if you want to know how to read the panics, again, I will be explaining in the future videos about all the panics. Uh, but if you want to read the panic, you have to search for panic full and then uh, read the panic after. Uh, let me just go and enter the panic. As you can see, we have our panic full. 
full panic. Now let me just zoom in a little bit. And here we go. And as you can see, uh, after the panic string, panic CPU for seller, you have your panic, which in our case is I2C2. And as you can see uh, a little down, it says audio speaker top. Now the I2C2, it could be the front camera or the audio amplifier ICs, which is the audio speaker. And again, the same panic in, I guess, all the panics. Again, the um, <clears throat> audio speaker amplifier. Now we are going to uh, test the audio speaker, the top and the bottom, and see if the problem is in the audio speaker or audio amplifier IC, or uh, it's a problem in the front camera. So I've been testing uh, the phone for like six days now and the phone restarted only once uh, while uh, music was playing uh, loudly from the speaker. So as, as you can see, I connected the charging flex cable so I can test the speaker and also the upper speaker. So it turns out that the problem is in the audio amplifier I see and not in the front camera. Now I'm going to change them both to get the best result. So now let's jump uh, under the microscope and begin our work. So again, we're going to change the two audio amplifiers ICs, uh, one for the upper and uh, the other one for the down speaker. And also don't confuse it with the Taptic Engine IC, which is in the iPhone X is in the upper layer board and always check the lines and then change the ICs. Uh, so they both have the same IC number, so uh, that's not going to be a problem. And again, I will skip the board layer soldering and I will catch you uh, after I soldered everything back to its place. So we did solder our board back to our boards back together and the ICs back to their places and uh, of course we changed them. And as I shown before, I need a couple of days to test everything and now it's been like two days since I soldered everything back together. And of course testing all day uh, music playing loud and it's been like two weeks since the device came to our service store. But here we go, everything looks normal, no restarts, no hanging on Apple logo, sounds and everything is working perfectly. Uh, by the way, there's a couple of programs and programmers that can read the panics like 3 tools and other program, I forgot what it's called, but I will leave a link uh, to download it in the description down below. Just plug your phone and it will read the logs, the panic logs and tell you what is wrong. Now, of course, not all the panics are there, but it's helpful. Uh, so I2C2 is a problem with A11 processors that could be uh, in a front camera connector or sounds or uh, audio amplifier in our cases was the audio amplifier. So I guess that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If the video was helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future. And as always, stay safe and have a good day. And I'll catch you guys in another repair video. Peace out.